hello everybody welcome back to the channel hope you're all having a good day today we are at wild cat lake here in the ocala national forest it's someplace new i have never been to this place heard there's some bass in here and we're gonna see if we can catch them i just put the kayak in and already there's been a gator to greet me pretty close to the launch uh, it is alligator mating season I'm not too worried about it let's see what we can find let me give you a little overview of uh, kind of what we're dealing with And there's the kayak right at the ramp. So yeah, there's one other boater here. Don't know if he's a boater, don't know if he's a fisherman. But there is somebody else here somewhere on this lake. Probably doing the same thing. And uh, we're going to get out here. We're going to see if we can get some bass. Hopefully we will. Maybe take some pictures of gators if they come out. Let's get started. Well, I must say for this... Um little section that I'm in it's really nice it's very peaceful no fish I only saw that one gator that was near the boat launch that was it there's some docks out here maybe some people are building houses on this uh, other side of the lake looks like some kind of drain curtain maybe over there so maybe somebody is building Well, I went to a frog. It's it's still kind of early in the morning. It's not even 9.30 yet. I used a frog. I didn't get anything in the lily pads. The frog, not one strike, no movement in the lilies, no zero. So I switched that and I went to a lizard here. Just kind of throwing it along the bank. See if we can pick anything up on that. It's got a little weighted hook. So it gets down there. But yeah, nothing doing so far. Let's continue onward. Well, everybody, it's been a little frustrating. Nothing at that uh, first section of this lake. Sorry for the sun, but. Uh, yeah, I'm paddling out of this section. It's going to be time for a Fritos break pretty soon here. I'm telling you. Nothing. I, I've thrown everything. Rattle trap, spinnerbait, frog, lizard. Um, I have my go-to swimming minnow. Nothing. We're going to see. Maybe the bass are in deeper water. I don't know. It's still kind of cold out. It's supposed to be like high of 82 today. But it's still pretty cold. So I don't know. Let's give this other part of the lake a shot. See what happens. Sorry for the sun. So what we're in now is kind of the middle of the lake. Looks all pretty much the same as when I launched, almost. A little bit bigger body of water. After you cross the middle. But that's it. I don't think this lake goes anywhere. Like it doesn't dump out into any rivers or anything else in the forest region. I'd have to look at a map, but I do not believe it, uh, it does so. It is what it is. Up above this lake, um, when I see the map for driving here, is Salt Springs and Lake George. No, I don't know if this connects at all to Lake George. I haven't seen uh, any of that. And I, and I don't believe it connects to Salt Springs at all. And I have not seen, uh, I've not seen the boat 
that was at the launch before me. I don't know where he went. No houses out here. There was just a couple old docks, some lots, but nothing around here yet. Alright, let's get back to fishing. Still tossing the frog around a little bit, and then I'm going to stop with that. It'll be too late for it. And we're going to continue with the swim bait. This water is cold. It's been cold at night. It's been in the 40s and 50s. So the cold fronts aren't exactly helping. I believe the spawn already occurred. So we're just trying to uh, get anything that we can. All right, we fished the left-hand side of the lake. Now I'm paddling across the lake, trolling a spinnerbait. I'm gonna fish the right-hand side of the lake. And I think we're gonna make our way back from there. There's been no fish jumping, no fish movement. The only thing I've heard is gators. The only thing I've seen is gators. No fish. Ah, uh, got a swim bait on the reel that I'll be throwing. Or rod and reel I'm using, whatever you want to say. Sorry folks, sleep wasn't that great. I'm still nursing an injury. It's been a real troublesome year. It really has. I'm not able to get out and make a video every single week, which is my goal here. Not having these long gaps of three, four weeks no videos, but unfortunately, life comes about, and that's the way it's been for a minute here. So yeah, even though we're not catching any fish, still good to get out on the water, get a paddle in, the exercise. Don't get me wrong, I'd love to be getting some fish here and having great footage to, to put up, so... Let's see what this happens to do for us here. Going on this side. See if it's any different. It's like some kind of house over there. There's the radio tower. Yeah, that's a ranger station that's over there somewhere. Seeing some rings on the surface. I'm throwing the rattle trap. See if maybe somebody will bite it instinctively here. Could also be turtles. I've seen a couple turtles in the water. They've been coming up. So no guarantee of fish, obviously, but I always spooked something in the water right there. I want to say we've covered half the lake, but uh, I, I will check on the map later on to see if that is the case. But I think we've uh, covered half of the lake today. I wish we'd uh, covered at least half of the fish that have been here in the lake. That would have been awesome.
All right, let's get up to this other point over here. Couple of cranes across the water. That's what's making that noise. Don't know if you could see him. Two cranes. All right, back to fishing. Move up to the next point. You see uh, two straight lines in the water. I don't know if the guys could see them. They're just uh, two straight lines. They're a little bit of a distance. Looks like it might be uh, might be a gator. That's the only thing that really makes a straight line on the water here. There's another one on the other side too, the other side of the bank. You see those cluster of trees, and you got the bottom is the bank, and it comes straight out. I don't know, probably about 20 feet or something from there. But yeah, those straight lines in the water. Those are the gators. There you go. Let's try this point over here. See what we got. Well, folks, sometimes you catch and sometimes you don't. That's why it's called fishing. The magic hat on them, yep. Didn't give me any luck today. Not to say there's not luck on another day, because we know we've caught with the magic cat. I think we're going to be heading out shortly. If I do uh, catch anything at any other point, I will obviously videotape it. But, uh, you know, sometimes there's good, sometimes there's bad when you're out here. You don't always have a perfect day of fishing. That's just the way it goes. You know, and this gives the viewer another perspective Instead of watching all these other channels that show that they catch all day long or they catch a big quantity of fish. Yeah, they spend four, five, six hours trying to catch those fish. And then they'll never put up a video that shows you how they've never caught any fish on the day that they've gone out. Well, I'm giving you the ugly truth. Today was a skunk day. Sad, bad skunk day. But hey, that's fishing. And I'm going to come out here and I'm going to bring more 
content to you guys. Show more. Yes, we catch. No, we don't catch. It's life. It's reality. And that's what I want you guys to see. So a big thank you to all my subscribers. I know I got a few new ones. Um, I really appreciate you tuning into the channel. Appreciate everybody tuning into the channel. Please bear with me. Um, it's been a little bit of a year of struggle um, health-wise. Uh, Weather-wise here has not been so great. It's starting to turn and it's starting to get better. So I get out when I can. I know the three-week, four-week gap in videos is not what everybody wants to see. Um, and I haven't been able to bring content every single week. But that is my goal, to get out and bring content to every single week. Hopefully I can get back on that track. Like I said, really appreciate all my subscribers. Um, let people know about the channel, please. Please give a thumbs up as well. Like, subscribe, and we'll see all of you on the next adventure. Hi everyone, so we made a quick little stop here. Uh, obviously we're off the water and done with the main part of the video, but we're here at Three Kings Crab Chops and Supplies. And I've been just dying to get here and stop on a, a day where I have free time and get my crab traps. I've always driven by this place at least once, twice a week. And uh, let me tell you, very accommodating. These guys are very good. They've got a great supply. Get here. Make sure if you want crab traps, stop over here. And I'm going to link the whole description down below so you guys have it. But I'm going to give you a little video tour real quick. I have uh, one of the owner's permissions to do so. So that's the sign right there at the front of the building. Then we give you a little, show you a little thing right here where they got the crab traps. Okay. Just uh, give it a little synopsis here. So you got the red ones. Got some black ones over there red black okay then you come over here you got the steel ones and then over here you got the orange ones and this is why I picked up I picked up uh, two of those they're doing the buoy floats for me I just have to uh, do the markers uh, add my name address all that stuff put R in the buoy for recreational um, so that way yeah I'll be able to take these out on the big boat Get those done, and I'm going to get some smaller ones, um, probably from Amazon, and just do those off the smaller piers and what have you. But, yep, the bigger ones are going on the boat. All right, so, guys, like I said, been dying to get here. I pass this place probably once or twice a week. Um, they hook me up really good. They're polite people. They're real people. They take care of you. They talk to you. All good for me. I'm happy. All good to go. I'm glad I got them. So yeah, that's uh, Three Kings Crab Chops and Supplies, Salt Springs, Florida. Look them up. Give them a call or stop by. They'll take care of you.